Good morning. Here in the pool. It's day number nine on my going carnivore journey. I woke up at 6 a.m. Still dark outside. The sun's just come up. The moon's still clearly visible in the sky. If I can figure out how to get you to see it there. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Probably not, Never mind. But the moon's still visible in the sky and the sun just rose and the birds are all chirping and singing. And everything's cool. The temperature outside is a nice 72, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. The pool was about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so it could be warmer if we tried. Did my morning wake up today. My weight weigh in after wake up and weighed the exact same thing I did yesterday. So it's very possible that, and, and it seems like my schedule on the wake up, but yeah, the way it is, the way it is. Maybe I've gotten rid of a lot of the water weight that everybody does when they change their, change their eating habits at all, even if it's a regular diet or, or what have you. Uh, that weight, the water's gone. So now I'm just steady. So I'll get a little bit of exercise in and Today I plan to have uh, probably bacon and eggs for some sort of breakfast a little later. I'm holding off for an hour or two on coffee. And tonight I'm gonna probably cut in half one of the ribeyes and one of the check eyes and cook them both and compare them. And uh, that way I only have one steak and I'll just put the other two back in the refrigerator and, and, and a vacuum seal and we'll keep them for the next day. So that's probably my, my dinner meal is an inch and a half thick ribeye and an inch and a half thick chuck eye. So. Stay tuned, I'll be right back with those results. I just turned the sous vide machine on. Lights indicating red, which means it's not the right temperature. You'll see the temperature of the water is climbing. It's at 25 degrees. It's going to 55. When it gets to 55, I'll reset it, and then we're going to cook a ribeye and a chuck eye for about two hours. All right, it's day nine. I've got a ribeye and a chuck eye. We know the ribeye is gonna beat the chuck eye. Trick is how much. I've preheated the water in the sous vide to 55 degrees Celsius. I will reset the system now that the water's hot, put these in, do two hours each. When I'm done, I'm gonna cut them in half take half of them, put in the refrigerator in a new vacuum seal bag for tomorrow or the next day. The other two I'm gonna put in the refrigerator and let rest for a couple hours. That way when I'm ready to eat tonight, we'll sear them real good, get a real nice crust on them, and we'll see how they taste. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back. I have here the ribeye, and the chuck eye. They were both cooked in the sous vide for two hours, and then we put them in the refrigerator overnight. I'm gonna open these two from their vacuum seal bags. Plenty of juices come out. Now the reason I put them in to the refrigerator is they're getting cold right now. 
So first we're going to cut them in half. And when we cut them in half, we're going to see what they look like on the inside. But we're getting ready to sear them. So when we sear them, what the ribeye looks like. Medium rare or rare, I'm not sure which. It's supposed to be medium rare. And here's what the chuck eye looks like. And of course the chuck eye is not supposed to be as good. Zoom in on that. So you got the chuck eye versus the rib eye. So now what I'm going to do, go over here for a second and wash my hands for a second. I'm going to turn on my meter thermometer, and I got number three and number four. So, these are the wireless Wi Fi thermometers for meter block. So, we'll put this all the way in past the line. That looks good. And hopefully, we can put one of these in here. Hmm. It's going to be hard to do this one. Well, I'm not going to do this one. I was, but I'm not. And the reason I'm not is because by cutting it in half, I've cut too thin to do. But I don't want to eat them at the same time. What we're going to do is we're going to spice these up and sear them real good in a pan. And, oh, and we're going to put butter in the bottom of the pan. And we'll let you know how they taste in a bit. Stay tuned. Here we are, day nine. We've just had our dinner with the half of the chuck eye and half of the ribeye and the ribeye rib eye, of course wins hands down we uh, seared it lightly to start with which wasn't good enough and just shows my lack of expertise at cooking good steaks so we took it back and seared it harder which was excellent and both the chuck eye and the ribeye that I got from Bangkok beef had a lot of fat in it, which is what you want, really. Especially after you become so-called fat or acclimated to this diet. You're supposed to have more fat, but I don't need fat. I got plenty of fat. So... Bottom line is, you saw how the price difference on the ribeye, ribeyes cost 1350 baht per kilo, but the chuck eye is only 950 baht per kilo. So that means the ribeye is 50% more expensive than chuck eye. And I'm not so sure that that's not okay. Now, I have two grades of, of ribeye. 
I had the Jack Creeks and the O'Connor. And one was almost 200 baht per kilo more. I don't really know which one that is, but I'll know when I open up the next one. Now, I had found these are all imported ribeyes. Even though they're coming from a good source, they're still imported. And to be honest, if I was looking down, I apologize. But these are all imported steaks. They came from USA or Australia. I found this local farm up in northeast called Bang Si Farms. And I was going to give them a try. I compared the prices. They're a little less expensive. It happens to be all grain fed and grain finished. It's aged. And it ships down for just about the same amount of money as you can get shipped from Bangkok. And it's less expensive. Substantially less expensive. Maybe uh, 40%, 30% less expensive. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Now, if you're going to eat ribeyes five times, six times a week, yeah, 40% adds up. You saw what the previous video said. You know, these ribeyes were, I don't remember, $17, something like that. $20 per ribeye, U.S. dollars. Uh, it's a lot. But it's not that much. You know, when you think about it, I'm not eating vegetables. I'm not eating fruit. I'm not eating chips and ice cream and pretzels and popcorn. Not cans of baked beans. Today, I had a lot of water. And a lot of seasoned ribeye and chuckeye for dinner. And I'm not hungry. I'm full. So I would say I had about 16 ounces of steak. Both were inch and a half thick. So, hey, I'll report back and I'll let you know how it's going. For right now, it's going good. And uh, if it cures up in from inf if it cures up inflammation in within my body, and a side effect is a little bit of weight loss, all's good. All's good. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.